Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. Man, it's hot out here. It is currently in the 90s and the humidity is really high and we have a thing in the south called heat index kind of like they have wind chill up in the north and the heat index today is about 109 so yeah it's hot what can you grow in such weather well i got a i got something for you it's called the cow pea you might know it as the southern pea you might know it as black eyed peas purple hull peas uh, zipper cream peas there's there's hundreds and hundreds of cow peas i have a video all about cow peas that i will link you to right up there and uh, tells you a little bit about the cow pea uh, this is a hot weather crop and it's so beneficial to grow this crop and it's so easy to grow that if you live in a hot climate um, Cow peas are your answer to uh, not having to go outside too much and, and mess with the garden The benefits of a cow pea are multiple number one. They are uh, obviously heat loving Crops they'll grow through the heat of the summer. They'll grow through you know 100 degree days and they love it They are number two a nitrogen fixer. They improve the soil they actually take nitrogen out of the air and they fix it in the soil and you can help that process along by inoculating your seeds with a, uh, an inoculant that is designed to introduce the proper bacteria to your soil that helps the plant fix nitrogen. My soil happens to have that bacteria already. I've grown cow peas for 10 years and uh, so I don't inoculate and you don't really have to but it's helpful. Third, you can till them into your soil as a green mulch or a green compost, a green manure is more accurate, and they add biomass to your soil, lots and lots of it. It's really good stuff for your soil. Uh, fourth, they choke out weeds. They get really dense, especially uh, there are certain vine, there's certain varieties vine more than others, but all of them will fill in an area and grow really dense for you, and they put on a whole lot of mass, and it chokes out all the other weeds. Fifth, I think it's fifth, am I on number five? They're tasty, man, they taste so good. If you've never had a big batch of, of cow peas or purple hulls or zipper creams cooked a long time with a ham hock in it or a piece of ham, man, you're missing out. It's really a good traditional Southern food. And uh, yeah, cow peas, they're really easy to grow. So let me show you my cow peas. So here are the cow peas as they're starting to vine out. I can see that these are probably going to be a pretty viney variety. That's okay. I want them to fill this area up and shade out the ground. And you can see I've got some weeds over there coming up. But uh, if these cow peas come up, they'll shade out those weeds and you'll get uh, uh, the benefit of having them act as a green mulch. Planting these things couldn't be easier. Um, you can, if you want to, just take handfuls of them and broadcast them. You know, kind of spread them around your garden and rake them in. And they'll come up just fine. They'll grow just fine. I like a little more methodical planting. I put a little hole about an inch deep and I drop a seed or two in each hole and just with my hand kind of cover it over and water it in really well and they'll come up in a matter of days. Most of my cowpeas come up in, in three or four days. And um, yeah, they're so easy to grow. Uh, we're almost without excuse as gardeners if we can't grow these in the summer down in the south. Now I've soaked my cowpeas for two days and I need to get them in now. And these are a white variety, a cream variety. We're just gonna plant them about an inch deep. So here in my cowpea bed, I've got this little blank spot. So I'm just gonna plug in some more and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just make a little hole about an inch deep. Pretty simple. And I'm gonna plug in these uh, little cowpeas here. These are older beans, so I'm gonna put two of them in each in each hole. And that's man, you couldn't get any simpler than that. And then you just kind of cover them over. And now your cowpeas are planted. Just water that in really well, and I'll keep the mulch off of it till they come up. And that's that. That's how you plant them. You don't really even need to loosen the, the soil too much. These will come up in, in, in just about any kind of soil you, you have. And uh, they're just really easy to grow. Super easy stuff. You can see they're growing quite nicely. 
These cowpeas are dense in here and they'll do just fine. They, uh, they can grow close together, they can grow far apart. They'll just fill up this whole place and start producing cowpeas very quickly. Just a really good grower. Um, harvesting them. You can harvest the pods when they're young and tender and treat them like snap peas. Uh, I, I generally let them go a little longer. You can harvest them when they are full sized and you can tell uh, if they're full size, they're nice and plump just before they start turning leathery and you can shell those and cook them immediately or can them. You can also wait until the shells get leathery and the beans are a little more, uh, more a little bit more flavorful I think. And the, the final lazy option is you can just wait until all your cowpeas uh, dry out on the vine and you can go in and pick those and shell them that way. I've done all of those methods and I prefer to just kind of pick them when the beans get leathery. I find them easy to, to shuck that way. So yeah, cowpeas are really delicious. They're really an easy crop. They're a great summer crop. They're a great crop to put biomass into your soil and to improve your soil, break up your soil, choke out weeds. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing negative about these at all. The only thing I think people might complain about is sometimes certain varieties like to sprawl. And so they'll take over a whole garden area. All you have to do is bring in your weed whacker and cut them back, man. Just cut those things down and cut your trails through your garden and make sure that, uh, that you're, you're putting that in the compost pile because that's good stuff. So there you go. Cow peas. I mean, couldn't be easier. Thanks for joining us today on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I'm glad you stopped by. Please like us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We try to post about once or twice a week, sometimes more. And we love it when you come and comment on our videos. So y'all, grow some cow peas, man. It's so good, you won't be disappointed. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.